So I binged all 10 episodes of Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story yesterday. Um, it really took the story full circle. It started when he was a child and focused on when he was a teenager and beyond. My cat. I thought Evan Peters' portrayal was really haunting and creepy. He really embodied Jeffrey Dahmer, I thought. And everyone else gave a great performance as well, especially Niecy Nash as Glenda Cleveland was amazing. I mean, I was gobsmacked by her acting. She was very sympathetic. She's a woman who called the police trying to save a victim of Dahmer's who was escorted back to his apartment. And she was continually given the brush off until it was too late. I also thought Molly Ringwald did a great job as Jeffrey's stepmom. And Penelope Ann Miller uh, was great as Dahmer's troubled mom. There's no easy answers in this series. You don't know what caused him to be the way he was. Could it have been too many medications taken? Could it have been surgery that was done? And we don't really know. And just how upsetting it was that he was given so many second chances to keep killing and go on is just really horrific. It's, it was very upsetting to watch the series and just watch him skate again and again to be able to murder people. And just how some of the victim's family were treated by the public and whatnot. It was just, it really brought it home that the victim's families were just treated awful and just how their lives were turned upside down uh, by the murders. And it really painted the victims as real people. Uh, not just a bunch of cliches. In particular, episode six focused on a victim who was deaf. So we basically followed his journey uh, to the end. And he was very touching and very sad. It was a rough watch. I'm not going to lie. It really got to me. It got me thinking. And I think it was fairly well-balanced, showing it from all different sides, to the family members, to the victims, to neighbors that knew him, to the surrounding communities that were affected by him, and just the perfect storm of ingredients that took place to make someone act like that, we aren't given a definitive answer on what made him that way. And I think that's the scariest part because if it can happen to him, could there be someone else out there like him hiding in plain sight? And we're never going to know 
the easy answers. And I definitely feel for the victims' families um, just being haunted by the memories and closure is just a word and life just seems to go on. So that's it. Um, it was really upsetting watching this, um, but I'm glad I watched it because it made me think about the system, how it lets some people go on, and how decent people are treated by the system. So, if you decide to watch it, just know that it doesn't sugarcoat anything. And it brings it to a whole different level. So, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.